Cancer had already replaced him in the doorway, now pulling security and dipping his barrel as Worthy ran past, careful to avoid the blood pooling beneath the first Bulgarian shot in the raid. Then he moved down the hall to the back door and took up a firing position before calling out, Move! His team's second-in-command did so at once, flowing past Worthy in a reversal of their planned assignments. As he moved, Cancer said, Better be worth it, and then slipped out of view. Worthy remained in place long enough for Cancer to close the distance with their retreating teammates. His last glimpse of the corridor revealed the battering ram that Ian had deposited just inside the doorway in the event its services were needed further inside the building, and there it would remain. There were precious few advantages to operating in a city with a full-blown mafia war in progress, but the element of plausible deniability couldn't have been much better. With weekly killings between various mob factions, the Belgrade Police Department would have little reason to suspect a covert CIA paramilitary team was operating within their jurisdiction. The survival of a young cashier with no real mafia affiliation was perhaps the only calling card that the Bulgarian assassins were dispatched by men with a conscience, but there were lines his team simply didn't cross when they could avoid it. Then Worthy collapsed the buttstock of his MP7 and tucked the diminutive weapon beneath his coat before pulling the back door shut and exiting the building into the frigid air. He moved left over a surface of crumbling asphalt, following cancer toward an overgrown tangle of brush surrounding a cinderblock wall. The rest of his team had already moved past it, negotiating a trampled section of weeds that, judging by the discarded bottles and cigarette butts, was traversed by teenagers well after business hours. Worthy tried to look casual as he moved. Vehicle traffic aside, several vantage points in the surrounding buildings overlooked the rear parking lot, and judging by the fact that police were yet to be notified, there was no reason to invoke further suspicion by sprinting away from the bloodbath. Instead, he pushed aside the dried brambles of thicket and ducked underneath to find the gap in the cinderblock wall. Slipping through it and out the far side, he entered an alley between a church and a laundromat.